Welcome back to our IB Biology video series. This is the first video in IB Biology Topic 4, Ecology, where we will be looking at the components of an ecosystem, energy flow, and quadrat sampling. Ecology is defined as the study of ecosystems. But what is an ecosystem exactly? Well, first, we must look at what makes up an ecosystem. There are non-living things, such as water, air, and the sun, which are called abiotic factors, and there are living things, such as animals, plants, or bacteria, which are called biotic factors. When discussing biotic factors, they are roughly classified via the following hierarchy. A species is a group of organisms that can interbreed and produce fertile offspring. A population is a group of organisms of the same species living in the same area at the same time. A community is multiple populations living in the same area at the same time, which interact with one another. Hence, an ecosystem can be defined as the interaction of a community with its abiotic environment. Now that we have looked at the basic composition of ecosystems, let's explore the three types of species present in a community. Autotrophic, heterotrophic, and mixotrophic. Autotrophic species obtain energy to sustain life by converting inorganic compounds into organic compounds themselves. The most common method of doing this is via photosynthesis. The three types of autotrophic species are plants, algae, and cyanobacteria. However, as with most of the IB syllabus, there are exceptions. For example, some species of algae are parasitic heterotrophs, which feed off other organisms. Heterotrophic species obtain energy by consuming other organisms. There are three main ways this can be carried out. Direct consumption of other living organisms with internal digestion. Organisms that carry this out are known as consumers, for example, a fox. Direct consumption of other decomposing matter or organisms, called detrius, with internal digestion. Organisms that carry this out are known as detrivores, for example, an earthworm. And finally, external secretion of digestive enzymes onto dead organic matter, causing external digestion, followed by absorption of the digested products. Organisms that carry this out are known as saprotrophs. An example would be a fungi. Mixotrophic species, as the name indicates, can carry out both heterotrophic and autotrophic nutrition. An example is a Venus flytrap. The IB also expects you to understand two key ideas that build on the information we have discussed so far in this video. The first is speciation. This is the idea that if members of a species are isolated, either geographically or behaviorally, even if the same population they diverge to form two separate species. For high-level students, this will be explored in greater depth in our IB Biology Topic 10 video series. The second is nutrient cycling. This is the recycling of nutrients and minerals, including carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and phosphorus, within an ecosystem. For an ecosystem to be fully sustainable, these nutrients must be continually available. You've now reached the end of the preview for this IB Science video. If you want to check out the full video, head over to our website and select a membership plan today.